Sagittarius, I hope you are doing well wherever you are in the world. I am coming to you, Sagittarius, with a reading for you. Please be reminded that not every message will always be for you here, Sagittarius. So only take the messages that do resonate. Spirit, please guide and protect me as I channel the messages that Sagittarius needs to know at this time. Please use your discernment. Not every message will be for you, Sag. I could be picking up on your energy. I could be picking up on something that's going on with somebody around you. This could be a past person, a current person, a family member, a friend, or a foe. Take it as it resonates. <clears throat> we have... Show the world the real you, full moon in Aquarius. We have, it's time to take action, new moon in Aries. We've got mutable moon, nothing is yet set in stone. Okay, some of you could be needing to show up as your true self. A lot of you could be playing it small or feeling as though you, you're in an environment that you have to kind of dim something down or play smaller than what you would really like to. Deep down is what I'm getting. Expect powerful change. New moon eclipse. Scorpio just got that card, I believe. A new romantic cycle begins. New moon in Libra. Some of you could be dealing with a Libra here as well. We've got Aries energy. We've got Aquarius energy. I feel like you need to, there's a message here about um, showing up as how you want to in an environment here. You could be in an environment that's kind of keeping you small or restricted in some way, or you could feel restricted in a relationship, in some sort of environment here. And I feel like something needs to change in order for you to reach your full potential here. yeah that's what i'm getting some of you could have new love coming in as well there's something about you reaching your fullest potential here sagittarius and that in order to do this you have to um kind of not be afraid to, sh to show up as you show up as who you are just who you are Eight of Pentacles in the reverse. Ten of Wands is in the reverse. There's something you're no longer working on or no longer wanting to put energy into. You're releasing something. For some of you, this could be a job, a workplace here. This is something that you was investing in with the Queen of Pentacles. The Queen of Pentacles is a really um is a person who invests. Two of Swords is in the reverse. Queen of Pentacles is a generous energy, is what I was going to say. The Hierophant here. Oh, the Ace of Pentacles. You've got a new opportunity here, Sagittarius, that's trying to come in High Priestess. But I feel like for a lot of you, you know this is coming. Some of you could be intuitive. Some of you could be readers, healers of some kind. Yeah, healers. Some of you could be doing some sort of spiritual work here. Six of Swords, you could be helping people here. Some of you could be um, healers of some kind. Water could be significant. Pisces energy. Uh, there's something that you're no longer wanting to work on, most definitely, or invest in. If you've been investing in something, now this could be anything. This could be a relationship, a job, because we do have the Eight of Pentacles in the reverse. Something has become too tedious for you. Something has become... It's almost like an uphill battle for you here. And with the Queen of Pentacles, I feel like you're very stable, just whoever I'm speaking to, on your own. And I feel like there's something else that's coming in for you that's going to be more in alignment with you, with the Ace of Pentacles, Queen of Pentacles. Something where you're going to be more matching. If you felt like you've been working in an environment or working with somebody where it, it's almost like you could have been putting in more of the work, I feel like you're no longer going to be doing that. 
if something was one-sided or if you felt as though something wasn't getting off the ground or you were putting in a lot of work in something and something just wasn't coming into fruition i see you going in another direction and something really changing here for you with the hierophant energy this could be an opportunity for you to grow as well this is going to be either a relationship a job something an opportunity where it's going to make you put you in an energy of learning more, put you in an energy of being more elevated. And I see you're very stable already as you are. So with this Hierophant energy, there's a leveling up that's going to be taking place, a maturity, a um, seeing things from a higher perspective. And I feel like this is due to you being in more of an, being in alignment with whatever opportunity this is rather than before. I feel like you were in an environment that was keeping you small or it was too hard to navigate this whatever this was because i just feel like there wasn't an, an alignment you could have been working in an environment that you were too skilled for or you could you couldn't reach your fullest potential here with the two of swords in the reverse you're seeing this now i feel like you're seeing this now that you need to show up show up in a different way or you need to be doing something else okay and there's going to be a change that happens the moon card is underneath the deck what, what are you no longer working on here, Sagittarius? Eight of Pentacles, something to do with your work. Something that you was working on before. Something that's no longer working. I feel like you were putting in a lot of work into something. Knight of Cups, you was hoping for a good return. You were hoping for something that was going to be, um, have a good outcome for you. Hanged Man. Yeah, you're realising something about what you've been investing in. Hanged man, six of pentacles. For some of you, it could have involved a water sign here. You're no longer confused about the direction in which you, you want to go in. For some of you, you really tried to make something work and you're putting an end to something that you've been working on. For some of you, this could have been with a Capricorn here. Could be a relationship for some of you even. I see relationship, but I'm also getting job-wise. Pentacle energy. Three of Cups. This was definitely a collaboration of some kind. There could have been a lot of other people involved. And I feel like you could have been bearing the brunt of a lot of the work. There could have been people in your environment that weren't taking things serious with the Knight of Cups. You could have been dealing with people who didn't want to play, pull their weight. People who like to mess around. People who like to kind of gossip, party, whatever this is. And you were serious. So you've decided to detach from some sort of partnership. Some sort of working relationship. If this is a relationship. You could have been the more um, mature one out of you and another person. And you could have found that this person was just wanted to play. This person could have just not been on the same page. They could have wanted to party, be with friends. Not really feed the connection how you was. Because the Queen of Pentacles is very, very nurturing. What is this new opportunity, Ace of Pentacles, please? Nine of Wands in the reverse. Knight of Swords. The Emperor. Six of Wands. This is going to be an opportunity here where you're not going to feel depleted. You're not going to be feeling drained anymore. You're actually moving forward from a situation where you're feeling as though you have to do most of the work. You're feeling as though you're being depleted. A lot of you are going to be leveling up in some way, shape or form. Yeah, there's an ending to something here of the past. And, you know, you could have dealt with a lot of people that knew what they were doing, knew that you were putting in more work. If this was a relationship, this person was well aware that you could have been the driving force of something. You could have been the one that they were holding on to their coattail and you was making things happen here. And, you know, with the Emperor card and the Four of Pentacles, this is going to be something that's going to be very stable for you that you're going to be able to hold on to. And you're going to be happy with this and more aligned with where you're supposed to be going. There's a lot of success to be had here. Ace of Swords, this is the truth. Because a past situation was not successful. Something you lost passion for. You were trying to build in a situation where, you know, other people may not have been on the same page. Wanting the same things. Wanting to have longevity. Wanting to be mature. To kind of build something of substance here. So you decided to leave something out in the cold. For some of you, you could have experienced loss at the hand of other, other people who may not have had the same work ethic. Who may not have had the same drive for a relationship even. Yeah, people were, who are unable to change. People were, who are unable to see the vision. Okay, 
people who could have been you know blocked off to elevation in some way and wanting to stay in their circumstances or stay at a certain level and i see you definitely leveling up from this what is this hierophant card the moon the nine of the nine of swords just fell on the floor anxiety yeah a lot of people may not like this this new energy the moon can sometimes talk about jealousy as well not wanting to see that you're elevating here i feel like whatever this is there's people who you could have been trying to get on the same page with there's people who you could have been trying to work with collaborate with to kind of bring you all on this new journey chariot as i flip over that bottom of the deck we've got the chariot bring forth some sort of change bring forth for everybody to be elevated bring forth you know that whole thing of you can't bring everybody with you you can bring a horse to water but you cannot make the horse drink you know you can't force somebody to do something that they're not ready to do you cannot force somebody to be to level up when they just don't want to you know that kind of energy here and i feel like you may be in an energy now of doing it alone or going in another direction, be presented with a new opportunity where you're going to find, you know, people or an opportunity to kind of be the person who you want to be, to kind of be the driving force of building this legacy, Ten of Pentacles, this stability, this maturity, this elevation, whatever this is, self-mastery energy. And the people who you may have left behind, the workplace that you could have been a part of that was not coming with you not seeing the vision you know um may not like the fact that you're going to be successful by yourself knight of wands the world card more passion in wherever it is that you're going this new cycle here after dealing with people that may not have had the best interests your best interests at heart anyway with the seven of swords could have dealt with people who were deceptive yeah the thing is this the you know, with the star energy here, I'm not going to hold it up too long because there's a naked body on there and YouTube is funny about it. Um, With the star energy here and the lovers in the reverse, it's like these people wasn't working with you, but they knew that you were the, you, you was onto something good. The full card in the reverse, you could have dealt with people who weren't on your level in maturity wise. Queen of Pentacles is here. You know, there's no contest. We've got that same energy. Look at this. We've got the fool in the reverse, the queen of pentacles and that ace of pentacles, that opportunity, the new opportunity that's going to be presented to you. And with that fool energy, it doesn't really compare to the queen of pentacles. You were dealing with somebody who may not have wanted you the same things as you. The value base was different. You know, the, the wish fulfillment was different. Different pages I'm seeing and I'm definitely seeing something different happening here for you. messages for Sag, the empress and the eight of cups as you walk away you're walking right into leveling up you're walking right into fruition to new birth of new things leveling up glow up energy stability attracting what you is got what what is going to be um beneficial for you is what i want to say but you de you're definitely walking away from something here into some sort of new growth the Knight of Cups, the Nine of Pentacles, yeah, for a lot of you, you could be going it alone independently and you're going to be very successful shining in this Empress Nine of Pentacles energy and it's due to you being able to expand how you want to because I feel like, to be honest, there was a lot of people that could have been holding you back. Two of Cups, for some of you, you're going to be dating somebody new as well, that's a side note. If this is to do with your work, you could meet somebody through your work as well. The magician card you're definitely in making things happen mode things coming into fruition here three of cups you were definitely trying to work with people and bring everybody forward here but it was just causing you more blockages more conflicts with the five of wands but with that wheel of fortune i see you being able to make it happen with or without these people three of wands turning your back on whoever doesn't want to work with you or collaborate with you or is just not on the same page not ready to level up not ready to see some sort of vision that you wanted to take shape here sagittarius and i see good things happening here let's get you some closing messages messages for sag 
fertility that is the empress energy you're definitely giving birth to the new your vision is coming together financial health good luck that's exactly what i'm seeing if this is a work situation you're going to be gaining more from making this move freedom friendship freedom for, from anybody who may have been holding you back that friendship card could talk about partnerships you know we had that three of cups energy there and i feel like you could have been affiliated with a group you know a workplace a place where there was other people where it was just kind of keeping you stagnant keeping you stuck from the vision blessings and peace you're going to be more at ease moving forward in this new energy and you're going to be um, moving into an energy of growth due to you holding your vision with the willpower card and being able to manifest with the black cat with good luck here financial health i see a lot of good karma to do with your money and your stability a lot of growth empress energy is here and that's due to you walking away okay blessings freedom blessings this is going to be very different for all of you for some of you this is a relationship for some of you this is a family situation a group a friendship group even for some of you this is an organization a business because we did have the hierophant card which talks about establishments as well could talk about the workplace things of that such but i see you definitely moving into an energy of being able to not play it small and be really successful because you know where you want to take something you know your vision and you're holding on to that vision here you're definitely in manifestation mode here Sagittarius I love this for you if you like how I read please like share and subscribe to the channel but until next time Sag I will see you soon you take care bye